the guy to my right isn't the only one with a big platform. <laughs> um, wow. And you know, I, I don't I don't mean to go top rope like that, but I just feel like I need to just flex my muscles a little bit oh, yeah. uh, because he's he's now staring at me to my right, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Pleased to have back here on the program in Los Angeles for WrestleMania, which you can catch on Peacock, which is by the way available right here on Roku, is none other than Cody Rhodes, WWE superstar. Great to see you. Whoa. Thank you for having me. It's is a return visit. It is a return visit. I'm very excited. And also, I cannot, I'm blown away by, as you were looking forward, yes. telling us all the places where we can find your yes. show, you were just doing it. There's nothing out there that you There's were reading off there. there. No teleprompters. That is, oh, that is one of the most amazing, you laid it all out. Oh, well, and, I mean, I do this every day. It's yeah, my Yeah, but platform. still, that was just, uh, even the flight attendants read the thing. You can see them. <laughs> You can see them on their phone, you know? Like, yeah, that you did it. Well, um, Cody, I guess I should say if we do lose cabin pressure during this interview. <laughs> um, but thank you. It's great to have you here. Uh, what is this, appearance number three for you? Because, again, yeah. I know that, you you know, uh, WrestleMania has been, you, you, you put a number after it. So this would be Cody Rhodes 3 this on is, the Rich Eisen this Show. This is Cody Rhodes 3. It's Cody Rhodes 3. Good mm -hmm. to have you. And you're coming in. You're traveling heavy. You have your own crew here. Yep. Um, what, what's the crew shooting this for? What do we got here? Well, I'm at a, I have what I'd say kind of an adversarial relationship with this crew that's on the other side of your cameras. Okay. Uh, Peacock has been shooting a documentary on me that is what I kind of dubbed the documentary that has no ending. They just keep filming. <laughs> is that right? Keep shooting. And we don't, you, hey, we're at, so the Royal Rumble would have been great. Hey, I won the Royal Rumble. I came back after I had torn my pec. I saw that. Punched the ticket to WrestleMania, the biggest WrestleMania of all time in the main event. Finally, finally, perfect. And scene. It, that would that's it. That now right? they're still here. There's the, I know these guys well to the point where I we don't like each other anymore. We're oh, at really? that point in the relationship. Oh, wow. Loved each other. Now we're a little bit more like, oh, there's Matt. Uh, here we go, you know. Yeah. Hopefully by the end we'll like each other again. But yeah, the documentary with no ending. So maybe, maybe this can be it though. Maybe, maybe this could be it. Rich Cody three. Call it. Okay. Call it. This but, could be the big finish. Yeah. I don't know if Peacock would be in on that. Well, um, well I don't know. They, I think that they would. They would probably try and peg it more to something. Let's say happens Saturday or Sunday. Um, if they had it their way, Sunday WrestleMania, Roman Reigns winning the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. That would be it. That would be a beautiful ending. Because yeah. <laughs> That would be a beautiful ending to it. But while you say there's Raw, though, on Monday night, though. Yeah, at Crypto. Right. Formerly Staples Center. Right. So maybe that's it. It just won't end. Well, Biggest this is great. Year. So we're, we're streaming live on the Roku channel, but being recorded on Peacock for some future use. We're, by the way, we used to be on Peacock. Oh, yeah. There's all so kinds we're of... back. Yeah. Remember Synergy. me? Hey. <laughs> and so, okay, that's hey, not, but that's not going to make it through editing. We know that. that that's moment. what you think. But then some know. of this stuff, I've seen a couple cuts of these. Like, So my dad has a documentary uh, that's on A&E next Sunday. Okay. And I was the uh, EP on that. Mm -hmm. And they're just, some of this stuff on there is wild. There's like a, what, what? What did you see that you're like? Really, we're gonna air that? What do you got? I mean, it's very. Remember, this is wrestling from 70s and 80s. Sure, it's very bloody and uh, and just not so much like what you'll see with WrestleMania is sports entertainment's apex. Yes. Whereas a little bit further back, it's that being the difference perhaps between sports entertainment and pro wrestling, just the level of violence. Really? And and you, uh, you were even taken aback by it. Yeah, even yeah, very much. And and uh, and I think that's great though, because it's just they're showing showing you who he really was mm -hmm. uh, and what he really did. Very proud of that documentary. Uh, excited to to see it. That airs on A and E the Sunday after WrestleMania. So I'm happy for that because it's a part of his story that he had a, a last chapter that nobody knew about, mm -hmm. where he was training and coaching and doing all this stuff, including my opponent at WrestleMania. He was one of his interview coaches. Yes. And he did all this for this modern roster, and, and the world never got to see that. So now they'll be able to see that with a documentary, and that'll be nice to see. Is there anything you learned about your dad that mm -hmm. you didn't know? Or pretty much you you know it already? You know, what I learned is that, have you ever seen the movie Big Fish? Uh, I don't believe I have. Okay, so the, here's the moral of Big Fish. Dad tells his son all these amazing tales on the way up. And the son assumes they're all tales. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there, there's no truth to that. Okay. 
And then he finds out when the dad passes away at the memorial service when he sees some of these characters, some of it was real, mm -hmm. if not all of it. What I found is that a lot of the tales that I was told, yes, um, when you hear it from his brother, Larry, who's like never seen often, and, and then when you hear Hulk Hogan talking about how he wanted to be Dusty Rhodes, which, of course, I just thought was something my dad was telling me. <laughs> Hulk Hogan was the most popular wrestler yeah, in the world. Right. When you hear right. it, it's the, it's one of those relevatory moments of huh. it, it wasn't all a legend. You know, there's somewhere between the fact and the legend, and now at this point it's in the ether. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mandated ass, did Big Fish finish okay? I mean, is, is the, the gonna, movie Big Finish? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're all It's good. a great, the, the, what a moral, it's a great, that's a great movie. Have you seen it, Chris? I've never seen it. I have not seen this. You guys no. haven't seen Big Fish? No. Wouldn't it come out, like, 20 years ago, something like that? Yeah, well, probably. <laughs> well, you don't see anything that's that's older than five years ago, right, I mean, Chris? Well, I mean, like, where's your cutoff? Your cutoff is, like, anything 80s that, movies. See this guy? Yeah. It, it did actually come out 20 years did ago. It, really? it came out in 03, okay. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Tim yeah, Burton, 20 years old. Tim oh, Burton directed that, it. That, that, yeah, it's, it's, Tim, it's a Tim Burton oh, classic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I, I'll, I'll see it. It's worth. He it's, did Beetlejuice. Yeah. I like you those know? movies. Okay. Batman, I have a good. Albert Finney's in it. I, mean, well, I like how you went to Beetlejuice first. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we got to go old Tim so I, Burton f to try and get him to Well, everybody would have gone different, whereas you said Batman. I would have said Edward Scissorhands, yes. right? Yeah. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. That's well, yeah. You know what? The next documentary I'm going to see is whatever the hell they're shooting for Peacock right now. <laughs> right here. I'm not going to watch another documentary until this thing comes out, which is what 2006, well, 2026 uh, is what well, you're saying. Uh, oh, oh, TB, TBD. 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 Everybody. Okay. Cody Rhodes here on the Rich Eisen show, in advance of a huge two night premium live event called WrestleMania. By the way, uh, going down at SoFi Stadium. Have you ever been in SoFi? Is this no. going to be your first? Dude, it is amazing. Yes. Oh, wait. You, you might even. You might, I mean, you, you've been everywhere. Like, what's one of your favorite venues that you pluck out right now? Probably, uh, and it's funny because WrestleMania is going there next year, but I believe this is still the name of the arena. These yeah. arenas change yeah, all I the time. That, right, yeah. I think it's Wells Fargo Arena in Philadelphia. Okay. Which you, is right there by the sports complex. You but, like that one, huh? Oh, Philadelphia wrestling fans are a different breed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> well, um, you got a Pennsylvania guy right uh, to your yeah, right. He's a wrestling he, fan he's right He's not there. lying. So okay. if they Philly take you in, yeah. it becomes almost like a de facto, like a secondary hometown. And randomly on this, an older WWE show, Money in the Bank, when I was at the bottom of the undercard before yeah. I left and yeah. rattled all these cages, yeah. they took me in. And, and there was this Money in the Bank match where they just wanted me to win so bad. And this is an entire sold out Wells Fargo and had no reason to love me that night and did. So whenever I go there, I try to give them the utmost I can possibly give them because that's just one of my favorite spots. I love that. Uh, but outside of the fans, the people being there, I'm just talking about the facility itself. Have you ever oh, the actual in, facility? Yeah, like stopped in, stepped in a ring and just Where looked around at any point and gone, well, holy crap, because that's what's going to happen when you hit SoFi on Saturday night or Sunday. R I mean, Sunday, WrestleMania Sunday. having these big stadiums, you know, SoFi. Yeah. Uh, AT&T, you know, in Dallas. And then I'll say randomly one that I thought, well, this place is amazing, was I want to say it's Reliant, where the Texans play yeah. in Houston. Uh, it's a great spot. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a, a mood in there as well. I liked that. AT&T so being special. I think you're dating yourself. I think, was that NRG now? Something like that? Something. Maybe NRG. Yeah, where the Texans that. play. Yeah, just as long as you don't <laughs> say Enron. Not that. I mean, that, Ooh, that's that's oh. Oh. I mean that, that'll be a long time ago. But it's some, again, I don't want to have you catch uh, yourself uh, unaware. Yeah. There is this Oculus, they call it, that's above you. It, it rings this, the entire stadium wow. that when you're going to just make sure Roman Reigns is nowhere near you when you do this because yeah. you, you might have to just look up for a split second, and it, it's wild. There's no, there's no stadium and no setup wow. quite like SoFi. I it is awesome. I plan on a – I don't want to see the – even though – Mm. It's Saturday before we're Sunday yes, yes, going yes. on last. Yes. I plan on doing everything I can not to look out. Okay. Because I really want to feel it the first time I step out and you got 80,000 people yeah. and at the millions watching at home. I really just want to feel it there in that moment uh, when I come up and uh, see them for the first time. And it's loud in there. I don't know what it is because there's a canopy. It, it is outdoors yeah. technically and there's a canopy over it. It's like placing a lid on a boiling pot. It's one of the loudest places I've ever been to in my entire so life. So I'm going to steal that. Because that's wrestlers always talk about the acoustics. Yep. Oh, it's real cavernous, delayed. But mm. you said placing a lid on a boiling it's pot. It's what it is. Yeah. I'm going to use that all the time. <laughs> Please take it, Cody yeah. Rhodes. And also, Cody, when he's right. When when the crowd hits that whoa, when your song plays. Oh, yeah. That, 
I can't imagine what that sound is going to sound like Sunday night when, oh, I, when I, that I, part in your song hits. Yeah, they take to this one part of the song. They sing it with me now. No clue what when this started or how it started. Doug, Probably maybe back in the, to, in the Indies because I remember maybe. the first time I heard the song, I was like, this song is kind of hidden. Right. But, <laughs> the, like the WWE, the way they shoot it and they all sing it so people are really looking forward to this one moment where it says, whoa, and they all sing it together and this is the biggest crowd I've been in front of for it. So we're hopefully it's pretty loud. And what's it going to be like when you're – in the ring with Roman Reigns, what's it going to be like for you? Do you think? I think probably one of the coolest things in uh, wrestling and sports entertainment is what we call an old school intro, mm -hmm. where the uh, Mike Rome or whomever is the uh, officiating, you know, what Michael Buffer used to do, yeah, does the actual your challenger from Marietta, Georgia, and then your champion for almost nine hundred something days. That is one of those moments that if that doesn't give you goosebumps as a performer, if you're not idling at a bazillion rpms at that point if you're yeah. not ready to go then you nothing's going to get you that's that'll be the moment for me where i've got to not shrink under the lights i hate using a tcu as an example uh but it was in that stadium and it was my dogs you know so roman <laughs> roman has been to the main event this is number seven yes this is number one for me so i can't i can't be I've got to be at his level, and yeah. uh, I'll be watching him uh, in that moment to see where what he's thinking and what's going on behind those eyes, but look forward to it. We got Cody Rhodes here on the Rich Eisen Show, WWE Superstar. Cody Rhodes 3 here on the Rich Eisen mm -hmm. Show, right? <laughs> uh, so Cody Rhodes 1 was when you were here to promote AEW. Yeah. And you were Mr. AEW. You, oh, yeah. were, you were the guy that hitched your wagon and vice versa yep. to each other to, to launch the competitor mm -hmm. to WWE and you were all about it. Yes. What happened? And, and we even bonded over it actually, because there was a whole, you know, bet on yourself when you decided to leave and yes. all the things you did. Yes. So I, I knew this morning I saw I was coming. I was like, Oh, I'm gonna have some explaining to do about all this. <laughs> We're just filling filling in a blank here. I mean, what ha what happened? What ultimately, uh, I feel like, and and Tony Khan and I have both spoke about this publicly, is it felt like the block had been filled, right? The alternative company exists. They're doing great. Mm -hmm. like, super proud of everything we built. Uh, super proud of all my kids who are over there, who I recruited and hired. Uh, they've uh, got a show that's airing, a reality show that's slightly spun off from what Brandy and I did, and mm -hmm. we were able to help that option move forward. Uh, so it was just a matter of the block had been filled, and and I said this the night after uh, I came back at WrestleMania last year, sometimes uh, you find your you know destiny on the roads you take to avoid it. And I took a lot of roads all around to mm -hmm. come back to the thing I wanted the most at eight years old was the WWWF championship at the time, Yes, which was the title my dad never held. Uh, It'd, I'd be the one in the family to ever get it, and that is the title now that Roman Reigns has under the name the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship, mm -hmm. and uh, and and it just made all the sense in the world when I came back. No hard feelings. We left on great terms, and now here we are, at Rich Cody three, and <laughs> <you know? laughs> I, it really was wild when I when I heard ready? about it. I think TJ you was you were the yeah. one who came in and you told me like, oh yeah, Cody's going back to WWE, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what? I How'd mean, you know? I mean, you know, the internet. They yeah. talk a lot. Crazy. They talk a that lot. That crazy thing that lets everybody know about everything in real time yep. called the internet, you know? And so we, we heard about it, and I was keen to know, like, why. Because you were, honestly, like, it became your identity, right? I it mean, did. like, and, and, and your identity is what helped launch AEW. Yeah. It, it did. And, uh, and I, think, I think it separated me a little bit from being uh, just a wrestler. Mm -hmm. When I really was a face forward with everything, and at the beginning, it was almost all me. Mm -hmm. I, I think Tony didn't want to really come out as much. Uh, he was just getting comfortable with the idea of it. Now he's out front. He's able to do it all. But at the beginning, it was all me. And I think it distanced me a little bit from just being just a wrestler, uh, which is nice. I come back to WWE. I got no power. I got no stroke. Mm -hmm. Just, just I'm def defined by my performance and my competition skills alone. And, and that's a nice feeling. Uh, I think the job I had at AEW, I might have been a little too young for. 
definitely a little too immature what, for. What do you mean? Well, I was in charge. Other than what Tony, Tony was the the, right. the big boss, and right. then I was the underboss, I guess, or the number <laughs> one on the on the enterprise. Um, and at at that point, with still so much to do left, actually in the ring, right? I think maybe I wasn't ready for that. Um, still though, great memories. Sure, loved every second of it. Wild ride. Got two visits with you. Yes, you did. Two visits with you. We bonded well, you, over you it. Still, you still would have gotten the visits. Thank you. I'll be very honest yeah, with yeah. you, Tony. <laughs> but, you know. uh, yeah, I'm, uh, this is a fun week for one of the coolest things about WrestleMania, and I know, I know you know this, but yeah. WrestleMania brings in the entire collective community of people who like anything that involves a ring. Mm -hmm. So what do you call it, sports entertainment, or you mm -hmm. call it pro wrestling? Or, right. It's the whole week. You know, I tell all, like, I've got the school in Georgia where we – where we teach beginners camps for wrestling, I tell them all, find a way out here. You just help set up a ring for for this show. Uh, make runs for this crew. Do everything you can to be around it because it's the most fun you can have. It is the Super Bowl of what we do, WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. um, and to be the the one taking it home on Sunday night in terms of uh, the final thing, the, the big game for the big one, just uh, very blessed. To be here. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, Roman Reigns is Georgia Tech. It, yes. Okay. And this building is where Georgia the dogs dominated to win the national championship. Is that is it? Is it going to be the same running up the score? Do what you a, think on <laughs> on Sunday? Well, I love the quote. Uh, run it up. Okay. Run it up, yeah. and that's why I had no. Uh, right. As as what you saw happen in the national title game. I did. I, I was there. I knew that was going to happen, and I knew they weren't going to relent, and they were going to make it clear um, how this went. Uh -huh. Here's what I can say about the Georgia Tech Roman element. Mm. Yes, sir. All that means to someone who grew up in Georgia uh, mm. is that Roman's very smart, because all all <laughs> all my friends, all my friends went to Tech, went to uh, Kennesaw University, and okay. then they went to Georgia, or they might have just said screw it and went to Georgia State or Georgia Southern, mm. or a lot of them went the old Miss route. Okay. Very few said, you know what, I've got a 4.0 and I did this on my SATs. I'll be going to the MIT of the South. Uh, and the fact that he went to Georgia Tech. Yes. But he's also this big, like, gnarling Samoan monster is a terrifying combination. <laughs> terrifying combination. And just a, obviously, a great IQ on, on Roman. Okay, so you can beat the brains out of him. <laughs> See, I'm giving you See, all these look lines, at this, Cody. Right? And it's going to sound, See? it's going to, damn, I already forgot. It's going to sound <laughs> like a boiling pot. No, you just put a lid, a lid. on a boiling yeah. pot. I'm going to beat the like. brains out of Roman Reigns, and in there it's going to be a lid on a boiling pot. That's how loud it's going to be. That's when how you loud. Beat the brains out of him like Georgia beat up oh, on TCU. Or you're, TCU. You know, it's it. How did they beat Michigan? Oh, God. <laughs> My wife, so me and my wife, we go to. I am fully aware who your wife is and how she is she the brains of the operation. She heart went to the broken. She went to the. Uh, well, Harvard is the Michigan of the East in the there same way that you call Georgia Tech the MIT of the South. <laughs> yes. Just so, so you understand, Understood. obviously. So um, I was there with my son um, at the Fiesta Bowl, yeah. just shaking my head like you were shaking. It was just one of those days. Is so really what it was. We were in Mercedes Benz watching uh, Ohio State and Georgia. And Stroke it was, of midnight. And it was so before the game, they're running the score for TCU and, and Michigan. Oh, all the And I watched her fans. slowly take her Michigan hat off mm -hmm. and just kind of <laughs> drape her head and just, yep. just a, I, I'll yep. never know how it happens. That's a lot of all. head draping. Yeah. <laughs> coast to coast. A lot of head draping. Always next year. There is. I appreciate that. What, what would have happened if it was Michigan, Georgia again? Like, what was in a your way household? better game? <laughs> uh, way, oh, I would wow. think so. Well, the previous one wasn't a, a terrific game on New Year's Eve the year before either. But what's it like in your household, you and your wife, Georgia, Michigan? What's, what would that have been like? I think she can sit. Oh, that would have been rough. <laughs> <laughs> because we we decked right. the baby out in like a Michigan cheerleading outfit, and she was able to say, go blue. Hey, how old is she now? She's almost two. Oh. So she was dropping go blue, and I was trying to get her to do like, woo. Like the, like a bark? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Nope. So she would have. It would have been two against one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, when your daughter is more, uh, I guess, dog aware, just show her Ugger, and that'll be the end of that. What's, I know. What's your dog's name? Well, I mean, what? Sorry. What's your daughter's name? What's your daughter's name? <laughs> oh, Liberty. 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 Yeah. Liberty Rhodes. Okay. Liberty, yep. Okay. So on this documentary that will never uh, see the light of day. No ending. Okay. With no. Uh, is there is there footage of you changing a diaper? 
We got I don't that. think we have diaper changing footage. Why not? We do have footage of her interrupting the interview by just saying Papa f- a thousand times. Okay. And the first time I heard it, of course, instantly tears me up because this is in that period where she's first for the first time ever telling me things. Yes. And it's just the best. She's coming to WrestleMania. Oh, really? So we've got the headphones you ready. You do that, yeah. It's loud in there. Lit and in a boiling pot. Don't forget. Lit on a boiling pot. Yeah. About to beat the brains out of Roman Reigns. Yeah, that's correct, yes. <laughs> and... She's yeah. coming, and if it, we have a bail plan. If it doesn't, if she's the music hits and she starts crying, oh, we got Mimi, my mom, ready to just exit strategy, exit, exit stage left. Okay, uh, yeah, but uh, I'd really just want to see her once and uh, and have her see this moment because you never know. Getting to the last match at WrestleMania, the main event of WrestleMania is like yeah. getting elected president in our business. It's it's so cool. It's very yeah. difficult. That's great for you, and then just you know you. Uh, being a girl dad is the greatest thing. Oh, I, I have want... I have two older boys. My wife said, like, we we need a girl. I'm like, yeah. really? She had she's like, you you need to be a girl dad. She was right one thousand percent. She was right, and it just gets better and better yeah. and better. And uh, to this point, <laughs> I had I had uh, my daughter's now nine. Oh. Okay, so so like this is great. We're 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 at a, a countertop having dinner together, just mm. she and I. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself. Why am I enjoying this so much other than the obvious that I adore my daughter? And I realized halfway through the meal, it's because I'm loving it so much because it had been so long since I had a meal with a female who thought everything I said was terrific. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, you, you I couldn't like, lose. I couldn't lose. Everything was just tell me more. Oh, what a great story. Oh, wow. And I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. Because I, I I don't recall the last time I ever had such an experience. <laughs> you know? When you were courting her mom, maybe? I, I don't even know. I, know, I, mean, I, I don't, probably, even, I, know I don't even know then. I don't even know then. I don't know if it, I've ever had. So now you, I have that to look forward you to. You do. Yeah. No, I. Uh, you do, sir. That's a, that's big. I know Brandy's really trying hard to make it to, so that they're best friends yes. only. Right? Yeah. You know, she's kind of, you know, putting me on. Like, oh, really? I'm like retainer. You know, I'm not, I'm out there, but, uh, but I'm going to get in. I'm going to get, I'm going to find my ways in. Yeah. I'm going to get in. Okay. I believe in you. I believe Thank in you, you. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> um, uh, everybody check out WrestleMania this weekend. Let's Obviously go. Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match to wrap up WrestleMania that goes Hollywood because it is here in Los Angeles, California. It's streaming on Peacock, which is available right here on Roku, you're the man. Thanks for coming in here, man. Thanks I know you're running me. around town and you woke up crack of dawn and whatever. This is the only third time visit right That's here. That's th- it's the charm. It uh, is. So are you, you you can take that mug even though you already have one. Yeah, it's my varsity mug. That's a real thing. What it's, do you mean by varsity mug? <laughs> I got about fifty mugs in the uh, the cabinet. Uh-huh. I'm only going to grab the one that's up front. Why don't you grab the one that's right there? It's all about right? branding, Cody. My God, yeah. do I have to teach you the business? Yeah, I, the, right, basically, I've learned over the, over three three shows. There here. you go, Cody Rhodes sipping from the Rich Eisen Show mug. You can uh, get it richeisenshop.com. Hey now. The champion. <laughs> it's a champion <laughs> sipping out the mug there, Rich. Hey now. Oh, take that. It's yours to keep. I will think. Yeah, it. put 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 Liberty's oatmeal or whatever you're. She's eating the. I mean, I can just drink food. coffee out of it too. You okay, know, yeah, like. you, do that too. <laughs> you got two hands. Yeah, you got two hands. Maybe Cody in the in the morning, you have two belts over your shoulders, yeah. sipping on oh. coffee out the mud. What a shot it would be, huh? You know, send us the picture. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the goal. Then we leave there. We take the uh, the two title pick with our our rich mug and uh, and Mugs. then. The story is finished. And, and scene. There it is. And scene. <laughs> That's you. the big crescendo. Everybody check out Cody Rhodes on Twitter, at Cody Rhodes, and at American Nightmare Cody on Instagram. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.